Oh, absolutely nuts, man. Got some crazy tech skill. Done some crazy things like... Uh, I remember uh, Professor Poe put, put the old 20 pound bounty if someone took a game off him. And then uh, Unreal claims it straight away. Straight away? Pretty much, yeah. Are we getting into this? No, yeah, this looks like we're wow. straight in. Unreal, like, not really afraid to go to that top platform, but now he gets stuck at the edge. Can Vincent... Ooh! Drops the edge guard, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Unreal had that quite smart uh, side B, you know. Like, straight away after he gets hit by the deals, go straight to the edge. If the Sheik wants to like cover that, they have to kind of call it out, which is uh, obviously you know they often try and go for like soft option coverage. That's not commitment. Okay. Yeah. In th that situation, it's like if you want to cover that option, you have to go like commit to it. Up air takes that stock. Uh, pretty nice uh, little combo there from Unreal. As a former Falco main, what is what are the things that Falco are, like is really looking for in this matchup? Okay, I think a low percent you like this is a really big uh, crash cancel matchup for Falco. Basically, you need to like try and like defend your early forty percent or so to uh, just you know get some magical value out of your crash cancel. Because if you just give it away for free, eat uh, like a bunch of needles and then like one stray hit, you lose your crash cancel. And it makes it much easier for Sheik to like zone you out. Sheik's tilts become especially problematic when you get to higher percent. You know, whereas a low percent is just a crash cancel and then you get free shine basically. Unreal kind of had uh, Bialtaro at the edge there, but goes for it. A little bit of a greedy yeah. force mash. Oh, I don't know if greedy is oh. the word, but high commitment. Yeah, high commitment force mash. There's yeah, punish for it, but then regains the stage and looks like That's he's got uh, off the top again. Yeah, another up air off the top. Seeing out the stock, 68%. I mean, the crash castle's gone, but he's still got a bit to work with in this stock. Oh, I like that. Those uh, high back airs there. Seeing that the sheep was in the air. Uh, you know. Yeah, Nana was talking about this earlier, you know, he thinks down down throw on platforms is really, really underrated. Yeah, um, although uh, when uh, the other tower was so close to the edge there, he had to open the eye straight off, you know, and get out of it. But more central in the platforms definitely gives you some amazing tech chase opportunities, you know. This is true, yeah. Ooh, not safe. The moon, who's flying in next week, would very, very yeah, yeah. helpfully remind you that uh, double lasers from the ledge is not safe. Yeah, that was a slightly different situation. Like, he, he purposely went off stage to set it up, like, as a bait, but... Still. Nonetheless, yeah, he took... It was a risk going for it, and yeah. he gets punished for it in the end, yeah. The other tower gets that grab. Can we see some tech chases here? Goes to the dash tag, but doesn't reach. Maybe that was maybe a boost grab there. Laser force smash, please. Oh. And reverse force smash as well. Yeah, yeah, the inside hitbox. Inner hitbox. Yeah, tower goes these dash tags, but uh, oh, unable to capitalize off that four tilt. Knocks over Falco, but oh, the shine picks him up. Unreal really wants to rack up some percent here before he uh, respawns. Goes straight to the edge, gets away with the double lasers this time. I mean, ideally times. he wants to put um, Vincent out of crash council percent, especially yeah, since uh, uh, BR Tower is a player. One of his favorite tools uh, is definitely the crash council. He's a very he, he's a strong uh, proponent of it as a tool. I feel like he's got a quite a good defensive game, but his yeah. approach is a little bit lacking. So, but like in fairness, like Unreal has been approaching. Like it's not like the force has come towards him. He's but I don't think he's that player who's just gonna like sit there and like. Yeah, no, certainly you not. Out. Certainly not. <laughs> you know, this is gonna need a really big punish here. Those seven, that seventeen percent was. You never want to take that, you know. Yeah. Ooh, drops his tech chase on reaction. Yeah. Yeah. That might be it. The, up shine. the top yeah, again. Up there, yeah. yeah. Really like the decision to go for that shine there, you know. A lot of players would have back aired on that platform thinking, oh, I'll reset the edge guard. But it's like, Bill Tower would have had a double jump, you know, might not have been able to get a clean edge guard. That shine leads into a kill straight away. Could have you text, arms to text the back air as well? Or if Ten, you um, hold, hold down? I'm not Potentially, sure. but it's, it's, it's very high risk because it's like, if you DI correctly, then you might just live it anyway. Whereas if you go for the arms attack and miss it, then you're definitely Death dead to DI down. Yeah, okay. Right. Guess a couple of tech chases here. Gets the tech away, force him off stage. Oh, uh, good read. That should be it. Yeah, catches him at the very edge of the back air. Takes a pretty much completely clean stock lead. Mm. But this is one of those stages where Falco has the same the punish game on this stage as well. <laughs> I don't think there's a stage where Falco doesn't have the punish game. Yeah, yeah, but like, it's easier to link like full zero into death rather than just, uh, you know, like at 80% and then try and finish off with the back air later. Especially with these platforms, you can force tech chases on them. You know, you get it down there into one of those. When you down air someone's platform, you get that chance, you know, force right. smash. Oh, when they roll to the side, because like, that happens every time. Uh, air dodges off. Yeah, BR Tower, I see there. Not too bad already at 100%. I, 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 yeah, but given that he had uh, Unreal off the stage, like, he might be able to capitalize on the kill on his own. Yeah. Right, so it's like potentially a two stop swing there. But at least on a mental game front, you know, you're not like. Yeah, at yeah. Least, you're at still least not behind. You're not behind at least. <sighs> Goes to that uh, punish on the platform, doesn't quite reach it. Good Unreal needles. jumps into the needles again, but doesn't get the side B this time. Goes a little bit too low. 
Just drops straight down with his down air. Oh, goes high oh, to punish the, the full hop from uh, Beyond Tower. More uh, high commitment force matches here. Looking like Mad Dog's up. I'm really liking. Uh, <laughs> really looking like Mad Dog's yeah. up. Not the force matches, but uh, Unreal's just like moving back to the middle and using the lasers. Like he was on the top platform, just dropping down with the lasers. Just really awkward to deal with. Mm. Like the short hop lasers are often more predictable than uh, just like doing a full hop and doing it as you land or coming down from the platform or something like that. Force match finally oh, finds finally his target. Hit, yeah. yeah, finally hits home. I now. mean, if you hit one direction on a yellow stick, eventually it might work. Yeah, exactly. Unreal uh, kind of answers the percent deficit against uh, hit off no, Double lasers again. Yeah, it looks like the We need you, the moon. You, yeah. need to, you need to explain to all these players that you can't go for that. It's one of those things where you, you go for it the first couple of times and it works and you feel like it's okay and then the player starts realizing you're doing it and you get messed up for uh, it. He got, I so feel like... He's getting... Like, these four matches are starting to get called out. He got shield grabbed. Yeah, exactly. I was just about to say that, like... I feel like the Tower is just, like... Just being patient enough and... Unreal is not being patient enough, you know? Alright, so we're seeing his signature... Oh, uh, his commentator's curse is gonna say we're seeing his signature tech chase on reaction. Still, 55%, not too... Uh, not too terrible, you know. Ooh, yeah, that was, that's, that's another way, uh, interesting way in which she uh, can punish those stage on the lasers. Yeah. If the lasers catch her out the air, just mash A and that nair will come out. <laughs> Hit Falco with no jump. Uh, right, so... Unfortunate SD again, you know, that's been two in this game, to be honest, from uh, BL Tower. So if uh, Unreal manages to clutch this, he's going to be uh, quite upset, I imagine. Goes in with some nice pressure, gets double shine, but shields that dash tag. Grab uh, yet. Yeah. Slides off. Good near out. Goes to that uh, left on lasers still again. Ledge away lasers. There. Up tilt. This platform height is where it gets really good for Falco, you see. Up tilt right through. Alright. The yeah, tower uh, going for some tech aways, but. Oh, shield gets grab. Gets the shield grab, but doesn't get the throw he wants by the looks of it. Oh, oh goes no. to that dash attack again. Super YOLO dash attack. Oh, Ooh, both players spaghetti. Yeah, a bit of spaghetti there. He's weak, arms are heavy. Are we going to see straight to the ledge? Yeah. yeah. Okay, close to <laughs> that with a randy da down smash. Wow, look, uh, Unreal looks a bit uh, stressed out about that one. Yeah. Saw a little bit of a curse come out of his mouth there. Oh, a bit of yeah. frustration with himself. Maybe he realizes that he's been relying on the lasers a bit too much. He's, he's seeing it himself and just... You often get frustrated during habits, you know, you see this happening. Oh, like. for sure. I mean, something that I did see him do a lot of uh, near, in the last stock especially, that I think I would like to see a little bit more, is he was really abusing his superior hitboxes and walling out with um, back airs and um, up tilts rather than just approaching, capitalizing, I guess, on um, yes, your Tower Rogs. Um, Inclination towards more defensive play. Yeah, really. it, yeah it felt like uh, when Unreal was forcing the Tower towards the edge, like he, he, he'd force the advantageous situation, but then when he had it, he was getting too impatient and he was dropping it by going for this force match. See, he's going again for these more defensive options and they're working out really well for yeah. him. Like, yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. I like that. He's using the auto cancel back air. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, again right now, yeah. This is kind of like Falco Syndrome, you got the lead and you think, oh, I'll just get a kill nice and easily. And you get gimped. <laughs> nice to see how Beyond Tower mix it up a bit. He'd been coming in from the edge a lot with dash attack, but this time he just starts to walk up, go for an F till, trying to establish his space a bit more. Like Walking is really good, especially she. Yeah, certainly. Reads the side beam. Yeah, and then uh, Unreal, the old uh, ledge shot double laser once more. I think Unreal needs to be much more careful when he's coming oh. back in zero percent. You see, like many times, he's just taken like almost full needles. It's fourteen percent there. Like he didn't need to take. Yeah, it's so unnecessary. You know, it might not seem like a lot, but the percent when you're on zero means a lot more than like the difference between zero and forty is much more than the difference between like sixty and hundred. I feel. Oh, great laser forward smash. Oh, uh, waits out, but doesn't get the punish. Yeah, he gets maybe the bullet smash. laser. I think uh, maybe we could have got a shine combo there, but it's a bit of a scrappy situation. Beyond Tower swinging in with that forward air, but Lewis doesn't. Unreal manages to avoid it, but doesn't get the punish. Uh, he just he just waits, really. Yeah. I think he wanted to try to punish on reaction, but just didn't quite. I like to see uh, Unreal actually di these uh di the throws a bit better. To be honest, like a lot of times he's diing the down throw in, which just makes it like a little bit easier for the shooter to check chase often. Yeah. So. Ooh. Clears out with the double dunk, double dip. Oh, doesn't do the ledge shot lasers and still gets punished. Wow. Man gets just back, to get though. a great angle, yeah. yeah. Tricks DR Tower fairly well with that, yeah. <laughs> Nera Shield uh, catching the approaching Falco. See, he, he, a lot of his open, like, DR Tower's openings are coming from, you know, Unreal overextending or just playing a little bit riskier. Yeah, yeah. Where he's like, 
you know, when he has done a really good job, has been, like you said, like a lot of the auto counts and back yeah. airs, a lot of just like smart play. Again, we're gonna see maybe a touch. Oh no. Drops it. Drops it. The four smash, smash working out this time. Oh, yeah. nice little tricksy bit of movement to uh, sort of fake out whether he's getting off the edge or not, but doesn't manage to capitalize on the punish. Good tilts and crouch counts until like really just. Yeah, definitely. Um, they cut off a lot yeah. of his options. I feel like uh, Biotaro expected him to not be able to make the stage there, and he did, and he gets punished like heavily for it. I think you wanted to turn the other way about that. Uh, yeah, potentially. So we got a 94% lead here. Uh, sorry, one stock lead with 94% on it uh, for uh, Unreal. Yeah. Doing a lot of rolling, which, to be honest, like, I can't blame because, you know, if you roll and you get red, you get punished, but it's like, if you get hit by a straight tilt, you're getting four dead and die dead. anyway, so it's like... It's not too bad. Exactly. And it's like, who expects you to roll, like, five times in a row, you know? Ooh, that uh, S-Smash again, coming out. Oh. Goes for a down smash there, sends the Sheik off stage. Covers the roll in. Ooh, goes after some shine pressure on the platform, but... Oh, he gets the re, but I think out. he just misses that. All right, last stock situation. Gonna need a big punish here, or, or or some kind of game. Yeah, a big punish or some kind of game. I'd like. I'm really hoping we don't see any more of these ridiculous force punches to the edge from Unreal. Uh, I see a bit more of a. A uh, little bit risky. Yeah. I'd like to see some. Yeah, some safe, smart play. <laughs> or like a clean, a clean kill, not a whole. Yeah, Tao gets his way out of the middle, but. All right. Succumbs to the crash cancel. Uh, shine Giant. again, and then back air cleans it up nice and easy. I guess so, we're gonna see Dreamland. Um, yeah, I can see that. Or a battlefield. battlefield yeah. yeah. He's got the edges, which can make it a little bit easier for you to edge guard the Falco. There's no uh, possibility for him to ride the wall. And it's like the edges don't negative effect sheep at all. I mean, Lewis has been comp uh, camping top platform. Maybe he doesn't want the really high platform of Dreamline to deal with. Yeah, yeah, potentially, potentially. He's definitely vulnerable to camping a lot of sheep on uh, big stages like that. Yeah. Oh, that forward smash, smash again. He's getting called out a lot. But takes his time, sees that Vincent commits to the uh, Early near. near edge guard and just waits it out, gets aside the altars. There's a crash cancel oh. on the platform there. Good forward air. Allows him to keep the stage, but Vincent's been putting on a lot of percent here. It's a shine into the thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a classic Falco, you know, not on down onto the platform. You just wait. It takes to the side, you know. A lot of times with those uh, down air subs, you know, the, the enemy has to DI in in order to not go off stage. And then it's like, because you're DIing in, you get forced into teching in as well. And it's like, that's one of the slower techs, which allows you to uh, pick up that forward smash. Sheets. Uh, don't you mean like taking to the side as opposed to taking oh, in place? Oh, taking in place, right. Sometimes you see these really uh, pro players do like some crazy DI in and then suddenly reset the stick to neutral so they can get like a tech in place despite it. Oh wow. Which is, uh, but it's, it's one of those things that's just so... Super top level. Yeah, you have to be super... Ooh, Ooh. Full Smash working out there, calling out that he's going to stand on the edge. Yeah. Recognizing that, oh wow, double lasers into reverse Ooh. forward tilt. That was fairly strange. Oh! Finally smash getting these forward time. smashes, yeah. yeah. It feels like Unreal's kind of feeling himself, but... As we've seen before, like... I mean, maybe, he's getting these reads, that's yeah, what Yeah, yeah. Maybe feeling themselves is like... You know, can lead to overconfidence. We saw him going for a few, like, you know, sort of lazy things, thinking, oh, this will work. And it's like, not not actually earning it. Just hoping, you know. That being said, keeps the pressure on. Situations get, like, it's not too bad. Like, he's still able to, like, I think he has that, like, freedom or that leeway to play a little bit more aggressive right yeah. now. Because, you know, you're up games, and especially against a player where, like, Vincent is known for sometimes having not the best tournament mentality, yeah. right? So if you go for like these quote-unquote sub-optimal options, yeah, yeah. it can sometimes just put your opponent on tilt. Yeah, so exactly. maybe that's what he's thinking, right? Yeah, yeah. I've also been really liking uh, this little, little movement trick uh, Unreal's been doing. Just like dashing forwards and then turning around and shielding. So like doing a pivot shield stop, it's not a real pivot. Right. Pseudo but pivot, people Pseudo pivot it. shield yeah. stop, yeah. Uh, and just like allowing him to like, it's basically like unlocks his back air by just allowing him to approach and then turn around quickly. Have the back air, which is like a much better hitbox than, yeah, than the forward air on there, you know? Allows him to threaten BR Tower without when he gets him to the edge. Alright, so we have BR Tower on his tournament stock. Yeah, he's gonna need to make something happen here. Now a shield, but it's like Falco's at such low percent, it doesn't go oh anywhere. Ooh, Lewis nice, is going off right now. Yeah, nice he's little Nair attempt on that continuation on the platform. He's got all the momentum. This looks yeah. hard. Good get up attack, at least. Yeah. Oh, and then waits outside uh, his opponents, gets the punish. Dash tag. Oh, Unreal holds him. down and doesn't, uh, not, not fruitful. A little trade there, but these trades are quite unfavorable for uh, Biotaro with his current deficit, you know? No, yeah, you really don't. Oh, oh double dunk! Yeah, 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 there it is. 3-1 to Unreal. Unreal. Over Biotaro. <laughs> Alright.
Okay, so uh, Ulong T will be jumping off. I'll be 